country. And he has been all across the map in the United States. But one of those spots, as a matter of fact, if you go way back to the very, almost the very beginning of his career, was here at Toledo. He coached the running backs in 77 and 78, and then the defensive backs, 79 to 81. And he said, that was the last time he was in this building, was several decades ago. And he grew up about an hour away from the Glass Bowl in Tiffin, Ohio. So it's a very cool full circle trip for the defensive coordinator for Colorado State. Played Michigan, right? Oh, boy. I'll have to consult Wikipedia on that. We well, said he played against my uncle. We did, 71 to 74. And we've got a targeting review here. So with potential ramifications for next week. For next week. Here's a look at Coach Heater. He's been around, man. That guy's experienced some... He worked with Steve Adazio at, at Temple back at the beginning of the decade, the last decade, 2011 and 2012. Ooh. So at the end of that play there, you've got targeting. Bailey being taken down, and because he's in the act of being tackled, he qualifies there as a defenseless player. He can't defend himself. So the question is, you have a defenseless player. Is there forcible contact in the head or neck area? And then on that hit by Deswan Johnson, do you have indicators? We'll get the answer. Have I reviewed? It was determined personal foul. Targeting number 99, defense, using the crown of his helmet. 15 yard penalty from the end of the run. Number 99 is disqualified. So when they went to that review, they had to see the indicator of Johnson lowering, lowering his head, leading with his helmet, and then making forcible contact to the head of David Bailey. So Johnson is out for the remaining four minutes of this game and will also miss the first half of next week's action against Ball State. That's the one rule that I hate. Is it, I mean, a, a, a targeting penalty happens at the end of a game when the game's pretty much decided, and now Deswan Johnson has to miss next week the first half against Ball State. It just, it's one thing I don't like about college football.